Today, we're gonna to show you how to install the Oracle Lighting Bi-LED Oculus headlights on a Jeep Gladiator. If you're in the market for a high precision, high quality, true nine inch LED headlight, the Oracle Oculus is the light for you. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at how the installation is done. So to get started, first thing we're gonna do is open the hood. The only thing we really need to do now is go ahead and pop off the six clips across the top. I'm using my super fancy tab popper. All we have to do is pull the grill. You'd be able to take it off and set it on the side. Uh, this vehicle does have the forward facing trail camera. So we're gonna pop it off. And then we've got to disconnect the trail camera and the water line before we can take the grill completely off. This is the water line here that goes to the washer for the front camera. All we need to do to remove this is to press this down and just pop it right off. So this cable for the camera goes down and over here. There's a quick connect right here to disconnect it. In order to disconnect it, we're just gonna press down and push apart. Now with that removed, you can pop off the other tabs and set this on the side. All right, so this vehicle is equipped with the factory LED headlights. These are gonna come out the same way as the halogen lights. We have three T10 screws we're gonna remove. The headlight's gonna come out. We're gonna unplug it and set it on the side. we just repeat that step. So the next step is we're gonna run our DRL wiring harness. The kit includes a fuse tap. We're gonna tap this to the fuse box to get our circuit. And then we're gonna run our wires to the driver and passenger side for the daytime running light wire. All right, so we're gonna take the add circuit. We're gonna put it into fuse 52. And here, the, the fuse that we take out of fuse number 52, we're gonna put into this position right here. All right, so here's F52. Pull that out, replace this fuse into here. All right, and then we're gonna place this. That was my fuse puller, put that back. And now we're gonna take our DRL wiring harness, we're gonna take our positive red cable and we're gonna go ahead and crimp it to the add a circuit here. Basically just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the wire, we're gonna run it out of the fuse box and put the cover back on. We've got our power coming from the fuse box. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the ground lug and ground it to the ground post right here on the fender. We take this and we put it over this and we put this back on. And we tighten this back up. All right, so now we've got our two DRL cables. The shorter one is gonna go here to the passenger side. The longer one, we're gonna run across to the driver's side. Okay. All right, so if you lift up the radiator panel cover right here, there's a wire that goes for the horn. We're just gonna run this with that horn cable right across under here and then drop it down behind the headlight so that we can go ahead and plug in the daytime running light. All right, so now we're ready to install the Oracle Oculus headlights. We've got our daytime running light that we just ran over here. There's a little notch on this one and a tab here to make sure that they go in correctly. So we line those up, put those together, and we tighten down this waterproof connector. So now to hook up the headlights, we have this plug and play connector coming up the headlight here. So all we do is we push this on and we listen for the snap. Now we're just gonna go ahead and reinstall the headlight using the hardware that we removed earlier. Now we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick test on the headlight. In order to test the halo, we're gonna put the vehicle in accessory mode. Now for the passenger side, we're just gonna do the same steps. Plug in our daytime running light. Tighten down the waterproof connector. And we wanna hear that snap into place. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the grill now. If you have the front trail camera, you're gonna go ahead and reconnect the trail camera and the water line as well. Now that the grill's set in place, what we need to do is go ahead and re-engage these clips. To do that, 
you need to firmly press, you'll hear them snap back into place. And then we go ahead and reinstall the six clips across the top. All right, that just about wraps this up. But if you have more questions or want to learn more about the Oracle Oculus headlights, visit www.oraclelights.com backslash Oculus or call us at 1-800-407-5776.